This video is uh, here to address a few comments I had in the first video about shading the air conditioner and whether it actually makes any difference for power usage. Uh, essentially head pressure. Not really concerned about anything else. Head pressure is uh, the only real thing it could change. So let's take a look at this. I, before I used a tarp and I put the tarp up there and I tried to put it up just exactly the way I did before. Now the complaint has been that the tarp was actually blocking the discharge. So, because I had about uh, an eight pound rise in the head pressure with the tarp on as, as differentiated from with the unit in the sun where the tarp was no longer blocking it. The difference was only about eight pounds. And I kind of look at that as going, well, that's pretty much within the normal range because I had a lot of comments on it and they seemed to think that I was uh, blocking airflow to this unit, I thought I'd go ahead and revisit this. Now I've done this before the sun can get onto this. I'm doing it a little earlier in the day, it's about 86 degrees out here. I've got that thing up there now, so if it's blocking it, it would be showing on the gauge set. Okay, you can see here we're running about 345. You know, some of this varies, you know, the wind makes a difference, all sorts of things. Now we're up to 347, so I'm going to give this a little more time to settle out. It's been running about 15 minutes. It looks like we're, yeah, a little breeze just came up, so that's dropped it down a little bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that tarp and let's see if the tarp has actually been blocking anything. You can kind of see here, it's really hard to be sure if there's any difference simply because there's little wind gusts come up and they make a considerable difference in how this head pressure goes. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, tarp and let's see what happens. Now you can see there I've taken the tarp off. The ambient temperature has not changed. It's 86 degrees. I'm going to give a range of pressures here. Okay, I've gone up about one degree in the ambient temperature in the time we've done this. It's starting to get pretty warm here. So, it's at 87 degrees and you can see the head pressure has gone up a little bit and that's probably corresponding. So, did the tarp make any difference? From what I can see, I actually had a little bit lower head pressure with the tarp up there. Remember now this thing's not in the sun. Look here, you can see the sun has not reached this thing yet. There's nothing definitive I can find that uh, tells me that that tarp caused any restriction at all. It just doesn't look like it. I think it's more that there's a little bit of light winds now and then come through here and they change the head pressure just a little bit. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to put a different type of block up there because everybody complained about that tarp. We'll try a different type of block and see what happens when I put that up. Now I'm going to wait until we get some sun on this thing, uh, and we'll probably get up in the 90s somewhere, and we'll check it again. Okay, for the next part of this, uh, the unit's in full sun. I'm going to take the measurements on it and look at the ambient, and then we're going to block it with a piece of plywood, which you can see behind it. So let's take a look at what the numbers are. Okay, looks like we're about 103.6. Looks like we're going to be about 78 degrees on our return. Looks like about 59 on the supply. Like about 109 suction, 417, 16 now. Uh, Head 15.4 super 9.8 subcool. 
Now you can see the unit is in shade. So let's see what the numbers are with it in shade. Okay, looking about 108.8, 414, pretty much the same on superheat and subcool. Let's see if we got a difference in temperature split inside. Okay, our return air is right, right around 74.4. Looks like our supply is about 55.5. Bouncing around between 412, 413, something like that. Superheat and subcool are about the same. Does shading and make a difference? Okay, looking at these numbers again, uh, 108.6, 414. Uh, looks like superheat and subcool are staying just about the same. I don't know. Is there a difference in these numbers? Don't look like it to me. Looks like it's about the same. Does it help to shade it? The only thing I could tell you is if you wanted to shade the entire wall of the house, it would help in two ways. It would cut solar gain through the windows. It would uh, cut solar gain through the walls and it might do a little bit for the uh, shading the air conditioner. But just shading it with something that changed just the air conditioner is pretty much useless. That's my opinion. I mean, I tried this a bunch of different ways and I kept coming up with the same numbers. So I'll call it good.